There are two main plumbing codes. The first code is the International Plumbing Code, IPC, published by the International Code Council, ICC, and is the most widely used plumbing code. The second code is the Uniform Plumbing Code, UPC, by the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA, and the International Association of Plumbing and Mechanical Officials, IAPMO. This is not to be confused with the Legacy Code with the same title. In addition, the National Standard Plumbing Code, NSPC, is continually published by the Plumbing, Heating, Cooling Contractors Association, continues to publish, which may be in use in some jurisdictions. Verify which plumbing code a jurisdiction enforces. The plumbing codes cover all parts of a plumbing system and include requirements for such things as water supply and distribution, water heaters and sanitary and storm drainage, as well as vent, trap and interceptor requirements. The codes also reference multiple industry standards. The chapter most often referenced in the IPC when designing an interior space is the chapter on plumbing fixtures. In the IPC, this chapter is titled Fixtures, Faucets, and Fixture Fittings. It describes the types of fixtures and their requirements and supplies a table that indicates the number and types of plumbing fixtures required for each occupancy classification or building type. This table is discussed later in this course. The plumbing codes are not the only resource for plumbing requirements. The building codes also have a chapter dedicated to plumbing-related requirements. For example, the International Building Code, IBC, has a chapter titled Plumbing Systems. For the most part, these short chapters refer to their respective plumbing codes and other standards for additional requirements. The IBC also duplicates the minimum toilet facility requirements and the plumbing fixture table found in the IPC. In addition, the interior environment chapter of the IBC includes a short section on materials for toilet and bathing facilities. Other plumbing related items such as sprinkler systems, standpipes, fire hoses and fire extinguishers are covered in other sections of the building codes specific to fire protection. These sections often refer to various standards as well. Additional plumbing requirements will be found in the energy codes and the newer sustainability codes. The energy requirements are mandated by the federal government. The use of a sustainability code or standard will depend on the jurisdiction of the project. Some clients may also want sustainability addressed in the design of their building or space. These codes can affect the fixtures selected as well as the overall design of the plumbing system and will be described in more detail in the section Plumbing Sustainability Considerations later in this course. Depending on the project, the performance codes may also need to be referenced. When using the IPC and other corresponding I codes, plumbing related performance criteria will be found in the ICC Performance Code, ICCPC, which has a chapter dedicated to plumbing. Its sections include personal hygiene, laundering, domestic water supplies, and wastewater. The UPC, on the other hand, has some alternate materials and methods provisions within the code, but does not include a performance chapter. Instead, the performance chapter in other applicable NFPA codes should be referenced for related performance criteria. Specific accessibility requirements must be followed when selecting and locating plumbing fixtures. Both the Americans with Disabilities Act ADA standards and the ICC ANSI accessibility standard ICC ANSI A117.1 provide similar requirements. Accessibility requirements are also found in the accessibility chapter of the building codes. The building codes then reference the ICC ANSI standard for specifics. When used together, they include such things as minimum clearances, location requirements, ease of control use, and other accessibility standards. 
These accessibility requirements are discussed in this course as they apply to various plumbing fixtures, plumbing facilities, and other related items. Note, however, that the accessibility requirements in each document are not always the same.